In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate the new strategist. We've combined actions and strategies together and elevated mostly every functionality that we had. Every domain can have multiple silos that you work with. This is basically each silo is a cluster of topics that you are currently working on to build your topical authority in that particular area. You can create a silo by adding the main keyword. Uh, you can exclude and include keywords by adding comma separated words and maximum amount of filters allowed is eight. Okay. Once you create a silo, it can take some time to load and build out this entire silo details. So we came up with precise groups of 467 topics that you can write and target all of these keywords. It's very intelligently done. We're checking SERP sources. We're checking the sources which are ranking what keywords they are ranking for in the top positions and then filtering, filtering, filtering and clustering this data. So if you wanted to know what topics you should be writing about in a list of 100,000 keywords, it can do this on automation and cluster those keywords and come up with precise topics that you need to write. So you're not duplicating your efforts. When you start with the main keyword, let's say we started with best SEO. You search that in SEMrush, href, you will find approximately 13,000 keywords. So these are all the distinct topics that we came up with. They're not overlapping. If you write best SEO company or best practice for SEO, they will not coincide with each other. They will not cannibalize the impact of each other in any sort of way if you are following this consistent plan. So these are all the topics that we came up with. We've also sort of identified the topics which could be potentially pillar pages. We have their volume, we have their CPC, difficulty, and this is the AI predicted funnel stage, which means this is bottom, or you can call it BOFU. This is top, which is TOFU, and this is M, which is MOFU. And each of these keywords are predicted to be in any of these funnel stages. The more bottom of the funnel and middle of the funnel keywords you target, the more closer you are going to be the business objective trying to bring relevant people to the product or services that you offer on your website. Okay, these are the cluster sizes and these are the positions. So you can add this into the planner and start curating all the keywords as part of your strategy. And then let's see here. So best SEO, I can't really write around best SEO. If you type in best SEO, the pages which are ranking for best SEO are ranking for some of this keywords and we are fetching their funnel stages as well. But you can understand that if you were writing content around best SEO, there's there so many topics that you could be targeting in that one particular blog post and potentially bring traffic to this page for many of these keywords. So now let's see, we're looking at best SEO company. And well, there might be plenty of competition for best SEO company. You might not be able to rank for it. So what you want to do is probably target a very long tail keyword. You can see search engine optimization firms. You can see best SEO marketing company. You can see best SEO marketing agency. So, and this are middle of the funnel. If this was top and you wanted to switch from top to middle or bottom, you can select a different keyword, but that's, that's the point. So now let's say I've identified, for example, that the golden keyword ratio or the difficulty, my chances of ranking for this particular keyword using AI suggestions is very high. In that case, I can make this my primary keyword. So when I'm creating a document, I want to be targeting SEO digital marketing agencies as my primary keyword. I'm optimizing for that, but you will still be writing content for all the keywords that you want to rank for this particular page, like using this as the seed keyword. So when you try and target this keyword and you rank for it, you'll not only rank for this, but you'll also rank for many of these, which is the point. Let's move this out and I'll close this out. So you can see now the remaining parts of it. And let's say I've added everything into my planner. I can go back to my content planner and this now indicates the entire plan and you can see the document status of each of the silos and whatever is in the pipeline right over here. You can also go back and you can go to content planner for the entire domain. And in this page, you will also see the statuses of your documents and what you have done. If you have a keyword that is overlapping with a different silo, it will tell you that it is overlapping. And if there is a red icon, 
it's telling you that this is in the strategy and you can't be adding this into your strategy. So let's go down to content brief. And you can see that this is in SEO content silo as well. And it's already in the planner. So if I was to create a document based on this, it'll stop me and tell me, hey, you've already got this keyword covered. So your team members don't duplicate the efforts and you get the best possible results. Let's go back here. This is your basic planner. Now let's go to content planner and see optimize. So we brought optimize from actions over here. So in this optimize, we made some significant improvements. So we're suggesting improvements based on multi keyword internal linking. And what you can see is that we want to rank for artificial intelligence content writing, artificial intelligence article writing. We want to rank for artificial intelligence article writer, uh, content writer. So all of these things can be internal linked from any of these pages. So now you can create a brief for improving page rank of this particular page along with the right vitals coming from the right type of keyword uh, and the URLs going to the right place. And you can create a plan around that in your content planner itself.